I um, thought we would do maybe um, like a speed round of career tips for Melody because she's just packed full of them. And I'm going to say the tip. I'm going to like, you know, we got to keep this fast. I'm going to say the tip and you're just going to say where you learned this or who taught this to you, okay? So one of the things you say you learned is to speak up. John Rogers, my business partner, he started Ariel, started when he was 24 years old, and he said to me on my very first day of the job when he took me to TGI Fridays <laughs> for lunch, he said, you're gonna be in a room with people who have bigger titles than you and who make a lot of money, and it doesn't mean your idea is not better. I want to hear it. Um, ask a lot of questions. Is it Jeffrey Katzenberg who calls you the Picasso of questions? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I learned that from John's father, who was a judge. And he basically said that the best way to get information that you need and or help someone to come to a different point of view was not to pound them and push them and barrage them or berate them, but to ask them a series of questions that would help them find the way to maybe the, the place you were trying to get them. Crouch to conquer. The art of war. And that is something that a lot of people have been surprised that I say, but sometimes you have to be very small to be very big. And I found, especially as a woman of color, that in certain rooms, I am too big. My personality or my confidence or even my speaking voice. There's a person who's a very well-known kind of shy billionaire that I remember once I was talking to in a lobby of a hotel, and every time I stepped forward, he stepped back. And by the end, we were like across the room. <laughs> and I was like, I'm too big, I have to get small. And as soon as I pulled myself in a lot, which people would say like, why would you make yourself small? He was like, can you sit down with me? It was very interesting that he was uncomfortable when I was in my full self, but the more that I could just modulate for him, the better it became for him, the more comfortable he became, which was okay, because his comfort at that point allowed me to learn a lot. This one I really like, smile a lot. She was the president, the only woman president of a Motorola country, Motorola Canada. I met her doing a seminar at Harvard. I don't know her name, which kills me. And I asked her was the most important piece of advice that she could give me and I was 24 years old and she said smile a lot and I literally thought it was the most pathetic piece of advice I had ever heard. <laughs> and she said to me in a crowded room, I feel like you're shooting arrows at me with your eyes. And she says, but I'm gonna explain something to you very important. People wanna work with people that they like. They wanna work with people who are happy. They wanna work with people they wanna be with and you're gonna deal with a lot of really hard issues and they will come across much better if you have a smile on your face. So I always, 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 especially if you see me on TV, I can be talking about the most dire situation. I have a smile on my face because it makes people more comfortable. In the Lean In chapter, you actually channel Yoda. You quote Yoda in, in this chapter, talking about this point about smiling. Um, because if you're not smiling, it can invoke fear in people. And Yoda says, fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. And those were words written by your husband, of course. I have to hear those all the time. 